Gen Crosley from the Ice Resin Design Team International 2014. Today I'm just going to show you a quick little project using uh, Susan Leonard Kazma's Ice Resin, um, something that's available in Hobby Lobby. It's from the um, Art Mechanics and it's just an assorted pack of different pictures. Let's have a look at them here for you. Um, I'm just going to show you a really quick and easy little technique that we're going to um, to make a locket, or not a locket, I should say an optical lens. So if we move this to the side, I'm just going to use this picture here. Optical lens, some glossy accents, I um, might pick this one here or do at the moment. So we've got this, some scissors, I'll just grab a little um, sander, this is from my girlfriend in Australia from Collections, a bit of paper towel. And a product I've been using a lot of is the looking glass paint that I find um, very versatile. It gives you the look of the old mercury on the mirror. So what I'll just do for a start off is just spray, just move this to the side. I'll just spray this lightly on the back of an optical lens that I've already given a clean. I actually, it's still a little bit dirty, so we'll use the old paper towel and just give that a quick clean for a start off. Just front and back to make sure there's no fingerprints or anything on it. Okay, so we'll pop that down. I've already given this a shape, uh, a good shape, but um, I'll just give it another quick little shape. And you just want to do, instead of thick coats, you just want to do, um, I'll just move that out of the way, just light little coats. So let's get it going. Okay, and it's starting to dry a little bit. And just another quick, um, because it's summer here, it's drying fairly quickly. We'll just let that dry, and I'll just pick it up so you can just see on the camera, um, see it's still a little little tiny bit wet. Um, another good tip with this one is to use um, in a spray bottle just some water and some like um, vinegar. This is the vinegar we've got here. You just sort of mix it equal parts. You can spray it on this for a start off and it gives the, the look of the a more motley effect. But for this one I just wanted it um, to be fairly um, even all over. Can you see it's starting to dry? Dry there just quickly. It starts to evaporate up and you're starting to get the mirror image. So we'll just grab some bit of paper towel. Just give it a little... Um, so we're just trying to make a little tiny um, clean surface where we'll see one of the pictures when we pop that on. So let's have a look what this is looking like. Okay. Might use her. You can see how it's giving, I don't know whether you can quite pick it up closely on there. Can you see it's giving it a bit of an effect? Okay, so that'll be, you know, at the moment that'll, that's just fine. So we'll just turn that over. That's all dried. With the glossy accents, we'll just put a little tiny bit on the back. Rub it very quickly all over. And then quickly press it on to, we'll just pop it right there and we're just going to, I've got it a little bit side on, let's straighten it up, just squash it, whoop, it's still sliding a little bit, so just squash it on fairly quickly and that'll be enough to hold it onto the back of your optical lens and just with a pair of scissors, sorry mate, you're going to have to go, we'll cut him, cut around him and we'll have to pop through her as well, this would be a nice quick little gift for somebody um, like a necklace you could do if you had your own relative. I'm just using um, the ice resin one here from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Next with the, um, a sander, just a little hand paper sander. Instead of trying to cut around the circle, we're just going to use this. See how it'll just take the edge off really quickly. Go all the way around. Okay, keep going. See how it's just peeling the edges off? And on the back of this too, I would probably put another nice little print on the back. Now when you get up here, it's going to be a little bit more trickier, so just go on the top a little bit more and see how it's just going to take it off. Still caught a little bit, so I'll just give it a little bit more of a go. Okay, so that's really made it nice and round on the back. And that's what you're going to be looking at the front. I'd probably go ahead and then I'll just pop, just quickly, just give you a quick... Go on this, another bit of the glossy accents on, just your finger, you don't really need a paintbrush, it's fairly quick. Pop this on the back, 
squash it all on again like I did before. We'll just